Good morning. It's Wednesday and it's time for our daily devotion. Uh, this is, uh, I think it's day six of Lenten readings in the 40 days of Lent, whether you're following our plan or another plan. Uh, Lent devotional uh, journeys are typically 40 days, which is Monday through Saturday of the weeks between Ash Wednesday and Easter. Um, we in our five church group are focusing on passages uh, that speak to immigration. Uh, and uh, today's passage is no different. And in fact, uh, I've been looking ahead a little bit in the next uh, week even. Some of the passages are uh, might feel repetitive. Uh, and that's okay. Uh, if, uh, you know, if you're looking at the one or two or three verse piece, uh, and wonder, you know, and wonder how that repetitive piece is helpful. It might be good to look at the whole chapter in the book that you're looking at, or kind of maybe skim through the longer story to see, to see what the differences are, or what or how how they compare, or maybe what piece of the journey around the wilderness that Israel is in, uh, in in these passages in Leviticus and Exodus and Deuteronomy and Numbers. Uh, that we're largely looking at for the next couple couple and a half weeks. Um, today's passage is uh, oh, well. Hold on, I lost it. <laughs> is Leviticus nineteen uh, thirty three to thirty four? It says this: When immigrants live in your land with you, you must not cheat them. Any immigrant who lives with you must be treated as if they were one of your citizens. You must love them as yourself because you are immigrants in the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Now, we've heard that uh, exclamation at the end before, right? Here's what you ought to do because I am the Lord your God. Uh, the question uh, that you see in your email, what does is, what is treating an immigrant as a citizen look like? Um, and uh, you, you might not you might not be surprised to to know that there's not a lot of hymns written in these verses about verses like these. Uh, there are, especially in our new hymnal, uh, the Voices Together hymnal from uh, Mennonite Church USA. Uh, there are there's actually a little section uh, focused around uh, immigration uh, and, and such things like that. Uh, songs of justice and uh, and welcome and uh the uh the song i'm going to sing today though is about uh is is about god's mercy is about god's grace i know for many of uh for many folks who are looking at these devotions and reading these old testament passages deep f from from deep within the law uh thinking about god's mercy uh feels very difficult in that in that context but i assure you it's there uh, and uh, so just today's song, There's a Wideness in God's Mercy. There's a wideness in God's mercy like the wideness of the sea. There's a kindness in God's justice which is more than liberty. There is welcome for the sinner, and more graces for the good. There is mercy with the Savior, there is healing in his blood. But we make God's love too narrow by false limits of our own. And we magnify its strictness with a zeal God will not own. For the love of God is broader than the measures of the mind. And the heart of the eternal is most wonderfully kind. If our love were but more simple, we should rest upon God's word, and our lives would be illumined by the presence of our Lord. Amen. <laughs>